This is number two of four. Uh, the fourth one's going to be the Mamad one, but there's not. There's one after this one, which is a work of art, which I'm going to show you. It's from 1895, I think it is. This one, as far as I can tell from the seller, this is from the 1920s. Um, it came out of a, a a barn, but he believes it was used to generate electricity electricity to light a stable in the 1920s. So that's all I've got. There's no markings on it. There's no nothing. What you see is what you get, basically. Um, obviously, it's got a cylinder uh, with. Uh, I think is this a I don't know if that's a pressure or an oil feed or whatever, I don't know yet. That was seized up, it now turns. Um, let's turn it round. Now this isn't the condition that I found it in. I'll, show you, I'll, <laughs> I'll put a photo up now of the condition it was when it actually arrived. So as you can see, I've had to do a lot of cleaning on it. This is after a, a two-hour bath in, a, in isopropyl alcohol, so it's now in a workable sort of a state. Um, it has a lot of issues, a lot of issues. If I turn that, you can see things moving. If I lift this, try and do this with one hand. Crank bearings, they look a bit shot. On both sides, you can see it there. Just playing that. So that's the big end that's gone. Crank bearings have gone. Bearings have gone. This one here, I think this is for an oil. Is it an oil feed? which is that thing which I think now I'm probably wrong on this what this does is it pumps oil straight into the cylinder somehow, somewhere it pumps oil into the cylinder to lubricate it um, I don't know I don't know if it's not fitted it is fitted, there's the piston from it which did come out of there and it also went into it went into there, but there's something missing from that because obviously that can't be that long. It's got to be. It is longer, but I don't know what. I'll have to have some do some digging on that. So that's that done. The flywheel is loose, although the flywheel is actually detached when I had it. Uh, we have an air valve there. Which obviously is to turn it on or off. What is it there? The piston cover seems to be okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know what these are for. I don't know if they're just to take the piston off. Anyway, so we've got play everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I don't know what to do about it, I don't know how to cure it, I don't know anything about anything because I still don't know much about these. Oh yeah, there's an oil feed thing missing as well. So I've got to get a couple of those. Um, and that's basically it. Now the other part of this is the boiler, uh, which is in a, another sorry state, but I may be able to salvage it, I don't know. So what I'm going to do, when I've worked on this, I'll get the boiler out, get my car pump out, pump it up to, I don't know, 60 or 70 psi just to see, make sure it doesn't explode and see if it'll hold its pressure. You can actually hear it hissing, so there's, it's, actually, it's got some compression in it. Now I am really looking forward to this because of the state that it was when I got it. So here goes. 
I hope I haven't just done half an hour's work and not recorded it. Please say I did record. Cylinders off. Um, one of the studs on the valve chamber broke off, which I'm going to try and get out because obviously there is a bit left. That it, it wasn't even tight, it just went straight off. The cylinder. A cylinder looks all right. Piston, I presume, is that graphite yarn or something like that on there. This was around the piston, the barrel, which I presume is just copper cladding, uh, not copper, bra um, cork. I presume, anyway. Uh, someone's going to put me right on that. I don't know ex exactly know what it is. I'm going to take these off. And that one's rock solid. Right, I'll have to do that off camera. I've got to get that off. Strip it down. Always start with the, uh, the, the cylinder block. There's no cracks on there. Has that got a stamp on there too? Yes. So that goes on there. It's all stamped. So I don't need to take loads of photos to remember which way everything goes. Right, I'll start stripping down. All these have all got to be soaked. I'm getting all the crap off basically just so as I can work on something clean. Uh, they've all got to be soaked in, I'm going to do try just isopropyl alcohol because I've got a bucket of it, well yeah I've got a tub full of it so I may as well you know, see if it will shift most of the crap and then I'll, I'll use some degreaser. Well I left these soaking for a few hours in, I left these soaking for a few hours in isopropyl alcohol and then proceeded to scrub them. Uh, the studs have come out of this. Not a problem. Is the main valve which I've taken apart and cleaned. That's perfect. Doesn't leak at all. Um, the only thing that I can't do is I think this is just a relief valve. It was just sticking on the side of the tank or the boiler so I don't know what to do with that because it's jammed bloody solid. The flywheels, this is bloody brass and it's heavy. So that's cleaned up nicely actually. Now the other thing as well, this is the base which took me about three hours to clean all the paint off. There was about ten layers of paint on it. Now this is obviously a custom made block and it looks nice. So I think I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to paint it and use it as the, the original part because it's authentic. This is how it was made so I might do that black. I don't know yet. Not decided. Uh, main bearings still not decided. Don't know what to do about them. Uh, I can't shim them. I could actually split the bearing and then grind just a tiny little piece off just to make them... It's not perfect, it's not really the way to do it, but I can't make any new bearings. But I think I might just do that instead of instead of going through all the, all the hassle of having new bearings made or making new bearings. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So I'm stuck now. I'm just waiting for the wheels, they're basically um, like scotch bright or whatever it is, wheels that I use for cleaning everything up. Royal Mail, bag of shite.